Today I want to talk to you a little bit about self-care. So self-care is making sure that you stay healthy and happy and making sure that you're doing all the right things to take good care of yourself. So to do that, I would like to introduce you to somebody very special. This is the latest member of my family. Hold on one second, I'm gonna go get her, okay? All right, so this is Sunday. Sunday is a cockapoo. She's half cocker spaniel and half poodle. She kind of has this cool curly fur. And we named her Sunday because she has half her face white and half her face black. And she kind of looks like an ice cream sundae. But she's a really cool dog. She's very sweet. She sleeps a lot. She plays a lot. And I've never had a puppy before, but I didn't know how much you have to do to take care of a puppy. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about all the things we do. Every morning we have to do a few things to take care of Sunday. One of the things is clean her ears. She has really floppy ears, so her ears get kind of dirty. She doesn't mind us cleaning them so much. When she wakes up, she eyes get kind of crusty, just like ours do. So she's actually being really good today. Sometimes she, she doesn't like it, and she kind of squirms a lot. But she's doing good today. Look at that bow now. And then we even have to brush Sunday's teeth. She has her own toothbrush. We have to keep her teeth clean. We have to brush our teeth. She mostly just tries to eat the toothpaste. <laughs> You'll see her licking the teeth. Last thing we do every day is to give Sunday a good brush so that her fur doesn't get matted and tangled. Sunday's not too good at uh, staying still for this yet. And she likes to bite the brush a lot. Um, but puppies do a lot of biting and nipping just because they like to explore things. Oh, you're being really good. Good job, honey just because they're exploring things, kind of like babies with their mouths. Yay, Sunday! <laughs> Sunday, it's not a game of tug of war. It's just a game of frisbee. Can I try throwing? So guys, it's really important that I do all those things and my family does all those things to take care of Sunday so that she stays happy and healthy and she keeps growing. And it's also really important that you take care of yourself and you should have some things that you do to help yourself stay happy and healthy. So I want to go through some of those things that you can do. I have some ideas for you. Maybe you have some of your own ideas too and maybe at the end you can share those with me. But I brought some props and I want you to see if you can guess the different things I'm going to talk about. All right. So the first prop I brought is a, you know what it is? A yoga mat. So what, why do you think I brought a yoga mat? If you said to stretch and relax, you're right. So sometimes I like to do some stretching. Um, you might know some stretches. You don't necessarily need a yoga mat to do that. You can do it right on the floor but you might know some yoga poses. Some of our teachers at Shihai do yoga in the classroom. Uh, and if you don't, there are some really good websites online. You should ask your parents first, but one of those is Cosmic Kids Yoga, and they do some really fun yoga routines where they imagine different things, like different movies, Frozen, different settings, and they do different stretches through those settings. So that's one idea to calm down and relax and to take care of yourself. I'm gonna show you another one. Next one, with this little yellow notebook with some lines and a pen. So for some people, they enjoy journaling and that really helps them to calm down and relax. Journaling and writing is a really good way to get your thoughts out and all your feelings down. And it, when you write, you don't even necessarily have to share it with anyone. You might if you want to, but if you don't, it could be your secret journal, your place to put all your feelings and what you're going through. All right, any guesses for how you can take care of yourself with paint? A whole bunch of different colors here. So some people like to do art and crafts to take care of themselves. I'm somebody who likes to do a lot of art at home. But um, art is a really good way to just calm down, to express yourself, to be creative. Those are all, all really good ways to take care of yourself too. All right, next up we have Your bounces in. Oh. <laughs> so this is um, a little paddle and a ball 
but going outside and playing is a really good way to calm down and relax. You always have to ask your parents and uh, hopefully have an adult around to watch you as you're outside. But um, going outside, whether it's taking a walk, it's exercising, playing a game, uh, are all really good ways to take care of yourself. All right, and next up, some headphones. Got my super cool Panda headphones here. But um, some people like to listen to music and some people like my daughter over here, like to play music. It's the little ukulele. I'm gonna play you a song that I wrote about self-care. Not really, I don't play the ukulele. But if you do play an instrument, that's an excellent way to calm down and to relax and to take care of yourself. So those are some ways that I thought of that are really good for taking care of you. Uh, if you think of any more, please send them to me. I'd love to hear from you, okay? So it's good to talk to you today and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Keep working hard, keep trying your best and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Take care, bye.